it's Nicola Bird here from a littlepeaceofmind.co.uk and I've been doing this little mini series for you of videos about the fundamentals behind the work that I do. Really the understanding that I share with my clients that frees them from their current experience of fear, anxiety, insomnia, health problems related to that. Um, so it gives them a completely different experience of that. And I was reflecting on it and I was thinking, well, what is it? Someone asked me, what is it that really made a the difference for me? What's happened for me? Why is my life so different now? Because it really was, you may well have heard my story if you've been around um, my videos for a while, but you know, my life was really, I just had this low level hum of, of fear about everything really and then it would spike into periods of panic attacks and and claustrophobia and agoraphobia and like, like you have heard the story before right my world is like night and day now it could not be more different it really couldn't it's it's, it's so much more quiet in my head there's so much uh, there's better sleeping there's um more love in my life more calmness in my life, more quietness in my life, more enjoyment in my life, more get, you know, changing that experience of anxiety was, was just ended up being such a small part of the equation. It was like my life went from being like minus a normal good quality life <laughs> to, to, and all I wanted was to get back to a normal good quality life. But what I didn't realize is that this conversation, this understanding just kept me going this way. And it just kept getting better and better and better and better. And what accounts for that change? What's happened for me, I've realised, is my mind has continued to settle down. So when I found this conversation, my mind was going a million miles an hour. Like, what if this happens? What if that happens? What am I going to do about this? But then even my speech was really fast and speedy and it was all cluttered and I couldn't sit down and I was constantly jumping from one thing to another and couldn't watch a whole TV program without jumping up and doing something else and um, constantly future planning about how I was going to do this, how I was going to do that, what am I going to do about this, like, la, 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 right? And, and, but I didn't know that my mind was going fast because that was just my normal. That was just my normal. I was completely invisible to me. And it seems crazy now, but it was completely invisible to me. And as I bumped into this conversation, I suddenly became aware of my busy mind. And I started to see that that was creating my mental illness, if you like. Like that, that experience of that was my stress. It's, it's the, same, the busy mind equaled the anxiety. They were the same thing. And, and what's happened over time is that my, that busy mind, it's like it's spinning at a million miles an hour and then as as I started to learn about what I've been teaching in the last couple of videos, which is like a taster of the work that I do, if you like, as I started to understand how we work, as I started to understand who we really are and our true nature underneath all of the noise and the cacophony of my own mind, I settled. And I settled and I settled and I settled and I settled. And I continue to settle and settle and settle and settle. And my guess is six months from now, I'll, if I were to watch back on this video, I'd go, oh my God, look, she's got a really busy mind. I'm sure I still have a really busy mind and, and forever it will continue to quieten. But what happens is our mind quietens. Then it, how did that happen? How did my mind quieten? Well, it wasn't through me going, right, I'm going to quieten my mind and make myself slow down. I mean, I tried that. It didn't work, right? I just had more thinking about that. But how that happened, how the settling down happened, it was a byproduct of understanding how we work and our true nature. So it was a byproduct of starting to see those different, how my experience is different at different levels of consciousness, that none of them are real but they all look very, very real wherever I am on that kind of up and down pole of consciousness that I shared with you last week in part three, that 
the more I started to see that I was not my thinking, that thought, thought this continual, the, the, the continual power of thought was bringing experiences on this like conveyor belt of experience into my life the whole time but I was not that experience I was the observer of that experience if you like I, there was there was me my true nature and then there was an experience of thought that came into that quiet but I could watch the thoughts come and go I was no longer in every car that drove past my window if you watched the first video and and as I started to understand some of the things that I've shared with you on the last couple of videos, like really see that they were true for myself. Like I went and looked and I realized the truth of that. I started to settle because I didn't have to keep churning my mind so fast all the time to figure out, well, what do I do about my busy email inbox? Like I need to try all these strategies. You know how much thinking it takes to try and manage get better at, get on top of, get ahead of a busy email inbox. And that was one of a million things I was blaming for my stress and my anxiety. I didn't have to do that anymore. So there was quiet in the space where there had been so much noise because the noise was no longer necessary when I started to see how the system works. And so I understood it better. And as I understood it better, I started to get a sense of this deeper space of quiet inside of me. We call it mind and this understanding, but there was this space of lightness, of profound well-being, of joy, of love, of connection, of oneness, if you like. And I started to, as my mind started to quieten, that started to show itself to me. It was always there just waiting to be seen, but invisible to me. So I was so busy up here looking in all the stories and the thought and the problems and trying to fix them out. As I quieted down, these feelings came up and it's like they touched my heart. It wasn't what I was looking for when I came to this conversation, but that's what happened. And as that touched my heart, I started to see the power of that. I started to see the creativity that came through me from that space. I started to see the, the knowing of what to do next in the moment that came through from that space. I started to see how my relationships improved every time I touched that space. I started to value this space over that. And as a result, I settled more and more and more. This got quieter and quieter and quieter. And this filled up silently instead. And that continues, that will continue until the day I die. This will continue to get quieter and this will continue silently to fill me up. And I'm so grateful for that. So grateful that I bumped into this conversation that um, took me from battling with this noise, like battling the whole time, like how do I quiet it? What do I do? Tell me what to do. How do I fix it? How do I fix it? To a natural settling as I just explored what I've been sharing with you in the last few videos. I know we've just touched on some areas, but this is what I talk about in all of my podcasts, all of my programs, all of my videos, my book, like everything. I try and find as many ways as I can to share the understanding that allowed me to settle and get filled up silently from below by this something other. It's a beautiful replacement for the noise of this. And so I'm so grateful that I bumped into this. Like, my goodness, it's changed my life. And so I'm hoping that through these videos and through the work that I do, some of that starts to touch you and, and, it, and it starts to change your life too. That's why I create these videos. So I hope you've enjoyed this tiny little mini series if you like come to the website there's plenty more resources there for you um read the book um little peace of mind and um and i'll be back with you for another video no doubt next week take care